Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so, welcome back to my channel. This is Plant It Pretty. I'm Amy, and today I'm actually finally going to start showing you guys parts of the backyard. We're going to start working on a frog habitat, and we're going to try to attract as many frogs as we can, or toads, um, as we can to the yard to help with the snails and the mosquitoes. So. Um, as I've been doing research for all this, one frog can eat up to a hundred pests in a night. So with that, I want all the frogs or toads or whatever. Um, so toads are actually what we're after. Frogs live in the trees, um, toads are on the ground and live near water sources. So we've got to set up some habitats, we've got to set up some water dishes for them. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a pond. Um, my mother-in-law was very kind and gave me a very small fountain, which was exactly what I was looking for. And I could not find what I was looking for. And she just happened to have one. So she let me have it. I did some painting and crafting. You can catch that on my Instagram and my Facebook. It's just a quick before and after. It looks amazing. So we're going to do some work to set that area up. It's going to be where I had my sunflowers and I have a lot of debris there that I have to clean up before I can set all this up. I also went ahead and bought some awesome uh, ornamental grasses to give them some extra places to hide because it is going to be in my backyard and while I'm planning on setting it up in such a way that they should be protected from the dogs, I want to give them plenty of areas to hide, not just from the dogs but from the birds and cats and all the other neighborhood animals that, uh, that could try to consider them a snack. So. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I think this is gonna be really fun. It does combine gardening and animals, and I think it's just gonna be a really fun learning adventure for everybody. Okay, everybody. So, this is what I meant by, we've got some cleaning up to do. Um, that was supposed to be a burn pile. It hasn't quit raining long enough to do anything. So I'm gonna work through it slowly, put it in some bags, and then these were my sunflowers and all the string that I'd used to, to hold them up. Yes, there is a grass situation going on. Um, our mower died, so we've been weed eating. And then again, with all the rain that we've been having, it just keeps growing. And it's a never-ending battle. So we're, we are getting a new mower, <laughs> thank God. Um, and we'll be doing that soon. Also, I did buy gloves. I got bit last week here, and, and you can see that in one of my videos. And it was a spider bite, and it was horrible and nasty. So I got these leather gloves. They're a little big. Not too bad, but they are a little big. But my options were these were the small ones that didn't fit quite well enough. So I got these, and I figured for all the heavy work, they'll actually be okay. I do have some smaller ones that are not leather lined. Um, for my more day-to-day -day gardening, but I figured for this stuff, these will be a little bit better. So, all right, let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Plant It Pretty. So I am getting ready to prep the area where I'm going to plant my grasses and install a fountain to help this toad habitat that I'm trying to um, lure toads into. So um, I, as you can see with the brown bags, I'm over here, we had a pile of branches from some prunings that we did over here and there's still a few left, but they're not bad um, and they're not totally in my way. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to move some of these leaves, but the frogs like mulch compost and the toads, sorry, frogs, toads. I'm going to use that phrase probably interchangeably. Um, so I'm going to probably move most of that into the little area that I have set up for them, protected from the dog, uh, protected from the dog so that they can be happy there. Um, but yeah, so like I said earlier, I called 211 and got them to come spray paint everything. So about where the camera is, is where my electrical line runs. So thankfully I'm nowhere near that. My gas is on the other side of the yard and then my internet and stuff runs on the other side of the fence. 
So we're all good. All my water's up front. So no worries about digging here. So just make sure that if you're gonna start planting bigger plants, you call, you get everything marked. It honestly was super easy. So we're in Texas, 811 Texas. Went online, submitted a request online. Within two days they came out, they marked everything, easy peasy. And then I'm sure to keep myself safe, keep others safe, as well as make sure that I'm not interrupting my service or anybody else's service of anything. So, all right, let's get cracking. Thank goodness for the power pointer. We use the power planter to loosen up a lot of the soil, break through some of these small roots that are coming off this tree. None of the main roots, thankfully. Um, and now I'm going to finish digging up some of the soil so I can get my big pampas grass planted. Or muley grass, sorry, not pampas. I'm going to start with some plant tone. So here's this big, beautiful, big, beautiful uh, pink mule. Okie dokie. This is why I like my hori hori knife, because I can just come in and and you don't want to cut too deep. And I'm just going around about four times, like once on each end pretty much. Alrighty, into the ground you go. Hey everybody, so I'm going to take a quick break. I'm very sweaty, very hot, very gross. Um, I got the pink muley grass in. It looks phenomenal. Um, I still need to do a little work cleaning up over here and I need to refill the toes water. I mean, I still need to come plant these two as well as bring the fountain back. I try to wrap this up. Um, I'm not going to move the fountain back here. It is very, very lumpy under there, and I've got to finish kind of cleaning up this pile over here. So, but I am going to finish planting the other two grasses that I have. Um, I kind of know where I want them, so that'll be easy, and then I can just sit the fountain back there. So, the fountain's going to go back here behind the pink muley grass, kind of. So partially obscured by the muley grass. And then I'm gonna put one of my other grasses here and one right here. I don't know what they're called. I'll see if the buckets have a name on them, but they're really pretty. They have a lot of variegation um, and they should do well in this spot. But I just want to go get some sand to level this spot out before I put the mountain back there. Because otherwise it's all just gonna tip one way and I need to I need to give it a semi-level spot. As you can see by the fence line, well, I don't know if you can tell by the fence line, but this backyard slopes really bad, which isn't the worst thing. Uh, all my plants that are along the back side of the fence get a lot of water. I don't have to water them almost at all, um, especially with all the rain that we've been having lately, so that's okay. But I definitely want the fountain to, to be able to function properly. So, um, yeah. All right, let's get to plant these last two and I can uh, go on about my day. Carex, Carex, ornamental grass. I got a little heavy. 
chubby there. Okay, y'all, I think that's gonna look so good, especially once I put the fountain right tucked back right back in there. I think it's gonna look really good, and uh, we'll see how it looks finished product. I may film the install of the fountain, I may not. It's pretty straightforward, it's a fountain, but we'll see. Hey everybody, welcome back to Plant It Pretty. So today I am out here, I got my fountain in, which is great. It's doing really well. The boys are, are running around. Um, but once I got it in, I decided I needed to move it forward. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to add some sand to kind of level this spot out, pull it forward. And then I got some hibiscus from one of my local nurseries. Poor guys, look at this. you. <laughs> if ever there was a root bound situation. So I talked to them about it. And the area that they were in um, is very, very gravelly. And of course they're in pots, so the water runs right through. Sun. So <laughs> the water runs right through. And uh <laughs> so they're in the little pots. They're in a very gravelly area, so the water runs right through, and so the plants are of course seeking out the water. We've had hundred plus days here. So the plants are just doing what they're gonna do. But good for me because I needed something with a smaller diameter and to go right behind the fountain once I move it up. So first let me put some sand down because like I said I need to level it out just a bit. I'm going to scooch the fountain forward just a little bit and then uh, plant these two right behind it. framed by the grasses probably I might play around with it a little bit more and move it just a little off to one side but right now I'm gonna go ahead and plant the hibiscus Almost there. Like untangling my curly hair. So we were able to do that. Ooh, sorry. So we were able to do that with minimal damage to these big, big roots that are in there. And this just says it's hibiscus full sun. Beautiful. One down, one to go.
I'm going to mesh this video up with the one before where I cleaned up a lot of the dirt and twigs. You can still see there's still a pile of leaves and branches that I need to deal with, but it is probably a fourth of the size of what that pile was. So, i uh, take my sweaty glasses off. But, so that's it for today. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you like, subscribe, comment, all the options down below. Um, I'm going to keep putting up content. And uh, right now I'm going to go inside and cool off because it's in the shade and it's still 100 plus. So, um, yeah. I hope everybody enjoys it and everybody likes it. I will get a great little video of just this area. And I can't wait for, for those hibiscus to grow. Here's a little toad habitat I've set up. I need to pull a couple of those weeds in there. And I need to add a couple of different frame panels because my little beagle keeps getting in in between all the different little uh, frame frame panel slots. There's some little narrow slots and he just he wants to be in there. So uh, obviously that's not going to help me attract any toads. But we'll see. I have a neighbor who said she's got a ton in her yard. Now she lives down more closer to a uh, drainage ditch. So that may be why she actually gets some. But we have all the water run down this way. So I hope that with the leaf mulch and everything, they will be happy. There's a solar light that comes on at night in addition to the light that's in the fountain. Um, so hopefully that attracts a little bit of bugs for them to eat and will make it a enticing place for them to come set up shop. 